we have a TheraBand, which is just a long piece of um, elastic. And if you don't have one of those, some old leggings you don't care about, old pair of pantyhose, whatever, uh, or tubing will do. And then if you have a continuous loop, that'll do too. And I have a pillow here um, that you can use under your head if you need it. So what we'll do first is just lay down on our back. So spine safe way of laying down on your back is to come to one side and then you're gonna just sort of log roll onto your back, okay? So this avoids flexion in the spine, which is uh, something that when we have a, any bone density loss, which is called osteo, osteo something, penia or porosis, uh, we want to avoid. So we'll lay down on our backs and then let's go ahead and just place your hands really wide across your belly. Pull your shoulders down your back, lengthen the back of the neck. If you feel like you're back bending your head, put a pillow underneath the back of your head. And let's begin with just a couple of bridges. So for spine safe, we need to keep the bridge very low, just, just high enough to like run your hand underneath you somewhere. And then come on down, okay? And we'll bridge up a couple more times. Just keep breathing. And when you bridge up, you're co-contracting your front and your back, okay? So it's kind of like a plank-ish. And when you come down, see if you can get length from your um, rib cage to your hips. Okay, so one more time, bridge up, and then come on down. Very good, snug your shoulders down your back. And then our wide open hands on our belly will give us a little biofeedback loop here. Take a breath. And as you exhale, think about your thigh bone dropping back and down into your pelvis and just bring your knee up and see how that feels. See if you can do that without having the belly pop up. And then uh, exhale and add the other leg. And if your belly pops up, you're welcome to work with one foot down at a time. So we'll toe tap, alternating legs. The floor is not the goal. So if you feel like you get to a point before you touch down and your belly's tightening up and you think, oh, my back might lift off the mat, you know, more, then uh, just don't tap, tap the physical floor. And again, if you feel like this is more than you bargained for today, then just do single leg knee folds and think about the thigh bone just being heavy in your pelvis as you do a little bit of marching. And your goal in both exercises is to keep your abdominals and your back the same throughout the movement. So you're controlling your torso with um, all of your muscles, okay? And we'll just keep breathing. Now, if you've done this a few times and you need more, you can go ahead and try doing single leg reaches. So there we go. And just do a couple more on each side of whatever you've chosen. Beautiful job. Last one. And we'll take our hands and place them on our knees. And we'll take our knees around in mirror image circles. So this one, we're going to allow the pelvis to kind of rock back and forth and just send a gentle little oscillation up the spine. So, and we'll go the other direction. Just a couple more. Perfect job. And then just hug your knees in for a moment and take a breath. Perfect job. Now, let's go ahead and take your right hand to the top of your left shin and your left hand down to the outside left ankle, okay? And then we'll just hug our knee in and press our shin into our hands at the same time and feel how that deepens your abdominals. And from this place, extend the other leg. Good. So round your elbows. I'm obsessed with rounded elbows. Take a breath. And as you exhale, switch the leg you're holding and do that little push-pull. And then we'll go ahead and just keep moving and breathing. So we have our single leg stretch here with the head down to keep it safe for those of us that have any bone density loss or disc issues. And if that's not you and you'd prefer to have your head up, you could just pause for a moment, holding one leg, roll your head, neck, and shoulders up, balance on your bra strap line, and keep your gaze down. The gaze needs to be down if your head is lifted, okay? 
So we don't try that if we've done our, our uh, necessity to keep the head down with bone density loss for discs. And we'll do one more on each side, even out your sides. And then again, bring your knees in. And this time we'll take the knees around in a circle, guiding both knees in the same direction. So we're really using our arms for this, not our, not our torso muscles. Let's go the other direction. Lovely. And just hug your knees in, take a breath. And then we'll float our feet down to the mat. So now that was fun. Let's go ahead and take our longer piece of tubing or band, our theraband. And if you hold it above your chest, not your face or neck, and just have your arms be a little wider than your shoulders so there's not tension on it. Okay, good. And we'll go ahead and place our feet about hip width apart, spread your toes, lengthen the back of the neck, and as you exhale, engaging your gluteals to lift up your hips. Okay, and we're just holding the band up above our chest for a moment and then lower back down. So we're back to our bottom lift or our bridge. If you do not have bone density loss, you can lift higher until you feel a thigh stretch. If you have bone density loss, then your rib cage really needs to stay down uh, on the mat as much as possible, okay? So now next time you lift up your hips, bring your arms down and then catch the therabend on your thighs and keep pressing down toward the mat. And then come back up with your arms and down with your bum, okay? So you can experiment with the um, tension on the band. If you feel like your shoulders have to round forward, you need less tension. So you would take your arms a little wider. If you feel like you are, it's too easy and it's not meaningful, then hold a little closer together and that'll increase the tension. So this is a um, variation of Joe's breathing, which we do on our Cadillac and trapeze table. So in Joe's breathing, speaking of breathing, it's an inhale as we lift up and press our arms back. So we can try that now, inhale, and then exhale, pull into belly as you lower and lengthen down. So we'll do a few more like that, inhale, and then exhale. And two more. And the last one. Perfect. Now let's take our band, bring your right foot into the center of the band. So we try to do that by feel without flexing if we're, if we're being careful with our spines. And We'll hold on to the end of the band in a way that we can keep the backs of our arms down on the mat and our shoulders down on the mat. Your left leg can stay bent. If you feel okay in your back, lengthening it out, you can go ahead and do that too. So either way. And then we'll hold on to the uh, ends of the band, supporting our leg, and we'll exhale and bring our leg down. So we wanna pull into belly as we do this. And then take your leg out to the width of the mat and come back up and around in a semicircle. Let's do that a couple more times. Let's feel what's happening in our pelvis. So your hips want to roll with your leg, okay? That would be normal. So what we're going to do is ask our left low ab to pull in a little more deeply as we circle the leg around just to keep our hips more stable, okay? And then let's go ahead and change direction. Bring the leg down and around to the semicircle and then come back up with control, keeping your leg as straight as possible. And of course, those of our friends with really tight hamstrings, it just means you don't bring your leg up as high. So you're having to work a little harder on your abs, okay? The intention of the um, band is to support the hip joint, okay? And last one, beautiful job, good. Let's just bring our leg up, bend and press. Okay, so we'll just do a, four of these, bend and press, and just get our back of our leg a little bit more limber here. And then if you, um, if to change, 
We can just pull into belly here, bring your knee in, put the other leg in and change legs. And again, now with the left leg in the band, your right leg could be out or bent. And we'll start again, pull into belly, shoulders are down, bring the leg down, and then take it out to the width of the mat and do a semi circle on the way out. Okay, and we're just breathing and asking our right low ab to pull in a little bit more deeply to keep us stable. One more. And then we'll change directions. So the band is a great addition for those of us that kind of have a little popping or clicking that goes on in the hip joint. Um, it's a nice way to, to help add stability to our hip joint. And one more. Perfect, and bring your leg up and then bend and press four times. Let's give ourselves a little active stretch here. Perfect. Now, we'll go ahead and hold on, keep holding on to the uh, ends of the band and see if it's okay to bring your other leg up, okay? So if you feel like there's any kind of uh, straining going on in your back with your legs straight, bend your knees, okay? So we'll try to zip up our inner thighs here and then pull your legs down a little tiny bit away from you. Feel how that engages your abdominals more and then bring your legs back up again, okay? If you're feeling any strain in your throat or neck, this is where you would put the pillow underneath your head just to help support you a little bit more, okay? So just go down to where you feel your abdominals engage, but before your back lifts or your shoulders round or your face gets tense, you know, all of those signs that we have that we're kind of overdoing the movement. This is a variation of our double long leg stretch from our mat work. Okay, good. Very nice. And one more. Okay, and we'll bring our knees in, take our knees in our hands, let the band go and take your knees around to the mirror image circles again. And didn't want to let go. And we'll go the other direction. Perfect job. And let's float our feet down and keep your ankles and knees together. Take your arms out wide and then we'll roll over to one side with our with our legs. And the goal is not to get your legs to the floor. The goal is to feel a stretch in the chest of the opposite side. So the chest that your knees are pointing away from, you'll feel a stretch. And then what you want to do is keep your inner thighs active and use your abdomen to bring your knees back to center. So we'll inhale over to the other direction and then exhale using the abdominals. I'm just going to go into a flow here. So we inhale to one side, Exhale to center, inhale to the other side, exhale to center. And if you need more intensity, you bring your knees in and then be very careful that we maintain stability. Uh, so your rotation is actually coming from your, from your thorax, from the rib cage area. So uh, hips and lumbar and thighs are all rolling together like a cylinder. And if you're legs are up in this sort of close tabletop and you need more, you can try straightening your legs. And then it's going to be a smaller range of movement yet because we just made things heavier. Uh, we'll just keep breathing. And then let's just do two more of whatever you've chosen, whatever variation on each side. We'll even at our sides. Perfect job. And then bring your knees in, bring your hands in and just rock your legs back and forth and think about a little bit of a mini cat cow here. Perfect job. Okay, so now let's go ahead and roll over to one side, okay, and we'll come up to a side seated position. So if your forearm is down on the floor, your elbow and your shoulder are lined up, okay, and both of our knees are bent, our hips and knees. So they're stacked 
and then we're going to press the floor away so that we feel engagement in the abdominals on the side body okay so this is going to place more load on the shoulder so that is the piece that we need to be most careful of here so if our shoulders down the back and we're pressing the mat away and you feel like that's enough stay there if you want more lift your hips okay knees are still bent the hips are a little bit extended now and if you want more straighten your legs and then we're in a side support so we can hold on to this I'm pulling into belly pulling up pelvic floor squeezing thighs together and pulling your shoulder down your back and if your head needs support you could have your hand under your head as well to offer a little bit of support for your neck and then we'll keep our abs about us and we can lower down that was nicely done okay let's just flip over to the other side and do the same thing on the other side so we start off with the hips and knees bent elbow is directly below the shoulder forearm is down on the mat and we press the mat away and if that's enough on this side that's completely fine if you need more lift your hips if you need more you straighten your legs and then we can hold we can remember to support our head if that's what's needed and we'll just enjoy the strength we're building breathing smiling a little yeah and then keeping your abs about you lower down that was nicely done very good so now let's go ahead and move into an all fours position we'll have our band um, doubled over okay and just straight across the front of the mat okay. so in our all fours position we'll start off i'm just going to have my hands on the band for a moment we'll take our knees about hip width apart and we'll be pulling up into belly and then letting our belly move toward the mat and let's practice with breathing here exhale pulling up into our cat and inhale and dropping into a cow we'll think about you know we don't really want to force an end range of movement here what we want to do instead is just be really gentle and think about our breath moving our body so we exhale our belly pulls up we arch gently toward the sky and we inhale and we arch toward the mat and it's all a pain-free range of motion we're emphasizing more the lumbar here the low back than the upper back okay one more great so now the band dun, dun, dun. right so if i place my left palm across the band i can grasp the band with my right hand okay and then the band will become a diagonal under my body as i bring my upper arm back to my side and then from here we can do a little tricep kick back okay now you may already feel that when you're doing this with both knees down there's a little bit more emphasis on the right uh, buttock and hip muscles okay so try to keep your elbow down by your side okay so you're just having your forearm right by your side if the elbow goes up too high you're putting a lot of extra stress on the front of the shoulder so straighten the arm back straighten the arm back and keep the upper arm um, right next to your body okay and let's just go ahead and do a set on the other side so we'll place the right hand on the uh, two pieces of paraben doubled over left hand grasps and then we're just pulling back so your elbows right by your waist the whole time bring your head back so that it's in alignment with the rest of the spine yeah and then we'll go ahead and do some tricep kickbacks okay that looks good everybody all right okay last one okay and then we'll go ahead and take the knees apart toes together sit your hips back and if we come down to our forearms we can do some wrist rotations here to um, give our wrists a little bit of love okay maybe open and close your hands a few times yeah okay and then we'll come back up and we'll do another set and this time we're going to increase our challenge so left hand goes on the therabands 
left leg goes out straight. So the toes are turned so that the toe pads are on the mat. Oh, look, you're wearing high heels, which I mean, who wears those anymore? Maybe some people, I don't know. I, I threw all mine out years ago. <laughs> Maybe you're braver than me. Take the TheraBand in your right hand, your right or upper arm is right next to your body and we'll do these kickbacks again. Okay, now you can stay with the left leg long and down on the mat, okay? And if you need more, if you wanna work a little bit more on balance, then engage your buttock muscle to lift the left leg straight up. So we want the leg lifted using the strong hip and buttock musculature without arching in our low back, okay? And yes, all right. And that'll fire up the standing glute quite nicely. And we'll go ahead and come on in. And from here between sides, just do some circles with your body around the mat here. A little hip and shoulder circles. Yeah, that'll be nice. And if your wrists are not happy with you, you can at this point maybe, you know, be on your fists for a moment, give your wrists a little bit of a break. Let's go the other direction. And we'll come back to center, organize ourselves, knees below hips, elbows below shoulders. And then we'll extend the uh, right leg, right hand is on the doubled TheraBand, left hand grasps the other end. We've got the diagonal TheraBand under our body and we go into our kickbacks, okay? So both shoulders are down and the left upper arm is right next to your body. And then if you need more, of course, you can lift up the right leg and just have it hovering in the air. Yeah, have a little fun. See how the left glute is working for you here. And one more, nicely done. Okay, and we'll bring our leg back in, take the knees apart, toes together, sit back and keep your back from going into flexion. Just Stick, uh, put, prep, stack your fists on top of each other. And then with your elbows wide-ish, you can lower your forehead down onto your stacked fists. Of course, if you had a yoga block, you could be using that too, but right now we have fists. So we'll take a couple of breaths and just give ourselves an opportunity to stretch a little bit. And then we'll Take one more breath there, and we'll come out of our quadruped position, okay? And then we'll be sidelined, but I'm gonna show you how to turn this into a versal loop in case you don't have a versal loop, okay? So a versal loop is one of these things. So if you have one of those, put it around the, your thighs right above your knees. If you don't have one, you can make one really easily without tying your TheraBand in a knot by, take the two loose ends and pass them through the looped part, okay? And then no knot needed, you're just gonna put your leg on top of where they connect, right? So I'll go ahead and do that. So the loop, pass it around, bring it through, and then my weight's gonna go on it to just keep it from moving, okay? It's also a nice way to make sure your bottom leg is active and we'll lay down on our side. So your head is supported on your arm, lift the side waist, shoulders and hips are stacked, okay? And we'll start off with our simple clams. So keeping your belly engaged lightly, just lift your top knee with your feet together and then lower it down, so. Yeah, just simple lateral rotations. And then let's, for a moment, just place your hand on your big hip bone and just feel the muscles engaging and feel whether your hip wants to roll back. And the other thing you can do here to make sure that you're really just going into your lateral rotation is slide your forearm behind the small of your back and just feel that you're not rolling back into your forearm, okay? So those two things, and then we can just do several mini of these. If you like, you can always bring your arm up toward the ceiling, 
and we're breathing and smiling and working a little bit more on our glutes. Yay. And that's a good set. Let's rest that down. We can give ourselves a little Pilates massage here. Good. Next, we'll again pull our side waist up, okay, and then lift the whole leg up. So we're still working with a bent knee. So we're just raising and lowering the bent knee, working against the resistance of the band. Now, if you've had a hip replacement on the top side, be really careful that your ankle and your knee are raising at the same rate of speed. So if your ankle is raising faster than your knee, that is internal rotation. And many of our friends with a posterior hip replacement aren't supposed to do that, right? You're not supposed to rotate inward or cross midline. So we're just gonna make sure that we're making everything raise up the same. And last one, perfect job. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> Let's take the um, band off. We'll keep the bottom leg bent. And then we're placing our hand, our top hand in front of us, just on spider fingers with our shoulders down our backs, okay? So now lift up your top leg, bring your leg a little bit forward, and then see if you can keep your knee in place as you extend your leg forward for a hamstring stretch. Now keep the leg at hip height, bring your leg back, pull into belly. Again, careful here if you've had a hip replacement with an anterior approach, not to go too far behind your body. And then keeping your knee in place again, bend your knee as if you were gonna kick yourself in the booty. Stretch here. Bring the bent leg forward, extend for the hamstring stretch. Bring the straight leg back, careful on your range and then bend for the quadricep stretch. Okay, two more in this direction. So take a nice you know, moment with this. We wanna feel the stretch in every point, right? So our whole point in our, in our side bicycles is really the stretching that we get at the end point and the control of what happens with our thigh when we bend our knee. And one more this direction. And then we'll lengthen our leg, we'll change directions. Your hip is, your leg is still at hip height. Long leg comes forward to the hamstring stretch. Then you bend the knee, take the bent leg back, extend long, and then bring the straight leg forward. So two more. Keeping the shoulder down the back and continuing to breathe. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and just stack our legs again. Give it a rest. Very nice. And then we'll straighten our legs. Bring your legs forward to the front corner of the mat. So you're a little bit flexed at your hip now. So you're lined up head to tail with the back of the mat. Your legs are straight and slightly in front of you. Okay. So now flex your bottom leg as if you were standing on the mat and point the top toes and then externally rotate the top leg. And we'll go into our uh, developé. So we're going up the inner line of the leg and then extend long, flex your foot, lead down with your heel. We'll do four in each direction. So a little spider fingers in front to give ourselves some support. And three, I always feel pretty when I do these ballet things, you know. I was a clunky kid when I took ballet, but somehow Pilates, you know, makes that all better. And last one. And then now changing directions, your foot stays dorsiflex. You kick up with your foot flat, point your toe, bend your knee, and trace down the inside of the leg. And two of four. And keep breathing. Try not to let your hip rock back. So again, you can try holding the hip or bringing your hand behind you just to check in. Yeah. And last one. Perfect job. Okay. So just let it go. Then let's find the, the TheraBand. Have it somewhere that you can reach it. And let's just log roll onto our belly. 
Okay, so from here, we have a little fun as we transition. So you could double fold the band again and then place it on your rear end. Okay, so you need to have a little piece hanging off each side of your rear end. Now, we'll take our um, belly up, press your pubic bone down, so that will probably engage your glutes, and then keep the back of the neck long. Now, grab the band with your hands, palms down, and extend your arms long, okay? So your arms are lifted. It's okay if the band is touching your booty, all right? And then roll your shoulders back and keeping your belly pulled in, lift up, keeping the back of your neck long, okay? And then we're just going to see if it's okay to pull the band apart in little pulses while we breathe. So inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, and so on, okay? So just keep breathing. And if that feels like too much, you may just pull your shoulders back and just keep pulling the band slightly apart as you externally rotate your arms, okay? So we'll just do a couple more breaths. And then we're gonna let that go. Perfect job. Take the band away again, and then you will be able to extend your other arm and roll right onto your side for the side series on the other side. Now, I'm gonna get up and change position so that my back's not to you, okay? So once we've got onto our side, of course, we're gonna to need to stick that band around, okay? So again, for those of you working with the long one, the loop goes on the bottom, we cross it through, and then we're laying on the attached band, okay? And the head is supported on your arm, the legs are bent, okay? So we've got a little uh, lift of the side waist here, little lift of the corners of the mouth, and we keep our feet together, and we'll be going into our simple clams. So a little check in and make sure that we feel muscles in the side of our large uh, hip bone here working. Place your hand behind your back to make sure that you're not rolling back. Okay, good. And just keep breathing. Just pull into your belly softly and just feel how this side is maybe different from the other side, which is completely human. And we're working on our little glutes here, our gluteal external rotators. You know, I find it still fascinating that we have nine glute muscles. And here I thought many, many years ago before I started teaching that we had one glute. Nope, nine on each side. It's amazing. So we have to change our angle so that we get them all exercised. Last one. Okay, good. So now we'll give ourselves a moment to rest and then we'll keep both legs bent and we'll be doing our lift and lower. Remember that we need to keep our ankle and knee lifting at the same rate of speed. So we lift and lower. Good. And I didn't mention the feet, but you can have both feet flex as if you were standing on the floor. That will give you a little bit more muscle energy down your leg. You can always have your hand up toward the ceiling as well. And one more. Perfect. Okay. So then we'll take our band off, set it over to the side. Great job. And then keeping the bottom leg bent, we're going to lift up our top leg. Okay. Bring the knee slightly forward. Extend your leg forward. So now you're feeling a hamstring stretch. Bring your leg back. Keep your knee in place as you bend your bottom part of your leg to like kick yourself toward the booty and then bring your bent leg forward. So we go into our bicycles and just keep the bottom leg bent and pressing into the mat. And you might feel a, you know, kind of a relationship or a, a reminder to a walking pattern by doing that which is fun. You can always check behind you, make sure you're not rolling back from time to time. 
and that was four. So now we're going to change direction. So bent leg goes back. Careful if you've had an anterior hip replacement here, not to go too far back, right? Leg forward, bent leg back, and press back. And three, keep breathing. And four, perfect job. Now, we'll straighten both legs, okay? So head to tail, we're lined up with the mat. We bring both legs slightly forward. Dorsiflex, the bottom foot is if you're standing on the ground and then externally rotate the top leg and point your toe. Good, so now trace the inner line of your bottom leg with your toe, extend up, dorsiflex your foot, lead with your heel to come down. We wanna make sure that we're not rolling back with this. So spider fingers in front is completely fine. It's actually ideal and four in each direction. So we just find the stretch, we find the control, we make sure we're breathing. You think in terms of like, when you lower your leg especially, like feel how your leg is so long, it actually connects to right below your rib cage. So think about length. And then we change directions. So we've got a dorsiflex foot, we kick it up, point your toe, bend your knee, and trace down the back. And I feel like I roll back on this side a little bit more. And so um, <clears throat> I'm going to put my arm behind my back. You might check in, um, you know, a little bit too. And last one. For some reason on this side, my brain just wants to keep changing directions. So sorry about that if you're trying to follow along. So let's go ahead and let that go. And we'll roll back over onto our stomach. Pull up your belly, okay? And then bring your arms out and uh, overhead if you can and wide, kind of like a Y position. I'm gonna go 80s on you here, Y, MCA. Anyway, so yes, the Y. <laughs> and then press your right hand and your left leg into the mat. So you can feel there's sort of a diagonal that you're working. Then let your right leg and your left arm raise a little bit. So just push down and lift up. This is a very small movement. And then bring all limbs down, take a breath, pull up into belly, push down with your left arm and your right leg, and then lift the other two legs, uh, <laughs> the other two arm and leg, right? Your left leg and your right arm, and then bring them down. Okay, so you're pushing down with an opposite arm and leg and letting the other arm and leg rise. Okay, so let's just keep switching here. So we'll do a couple more on each side. Good, make sure the back of your neck is long, you're pulling up into belly and you're breathing. Good, and then last one. Good, and if that was enough for you, just Stay there, rest on the mat. If you'd like to take this into full swimming, pull up into the belly, pull up the pelvic floor, tighten up your glutes and all, all four limbs raise, and then we go into a little bit of swimming, okay? So keep your body stable by pulling into your abs and just kick, 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 swim, 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 and then we don't think too hard about whether we're actually doing the opposite arm and leg, and then we let that go. Good, take a breath, wiggle your hips back and forth. So maybe windshield wipe your heels of your feet, right? Good, and then we'll go ahead and place our forearms down on the mat. So now tuck your toes. I'm gonna have to scoot forward a little bit so I have some non-skin under me. So tuck your toes, okay? And then tighten up your legs so that your knees and thighs kind of lift off the mat, okay? And then go ahead and pull up into belly and maybe like see if you can lift up your uh, pelvis. So now just your chest, maybe your chin and your forearms are on the mat, okay? And then keeping your back exactly the same, press the floor away and now you're in a forearm plank. Okay, that was fun. So our idea here, it's a plank challenge, is to get into the plank without back bending. So let's everybody lower back down again. If you thought that was easy, you can put your hands on the mat with your elbows lifted. 
I did not think that was easy. So I'm going to keep my forearms down. So you get to pick, okay? Tuck your toes, lift your knees, pull up into belly, lift your hips, press the floor away. Good. And we'll just hang out here. Keep breathing. And it's okay if you pike your hips a little bit if your low back needs that, okay? So, and then we'll lower back down. Well, that was fun. Let's go ahead and roll over to one side and we'll come up to sitting. Beautiful job. I'm gonna take a little drink of water here. Okay. And then, wait, there's more. Let's go ahead and take our band again. And now we'll do a nice little wrap I learned from my friend, Elizabeth Larkham. Place the band across the tops of your feet. And then you take one piece of the band under each arch. So you end up with kind of like this arrangement. And this is just something I think she came up with to avoid the possibility of, you know, the band rolling off your feet and whacking you in the face, which I think is a great idea. That would be, that would be not something we'd want to have happen today, right? So now we'll sit on the mat. And if you have any trouble sitting with your legs straight, just bend your knees, okay? You can also take your handy pillow and place it underneath your bum, okay, to lift you up a little bit or roll up your mat, okay? So we'll hold on to the very ends of the band, sit up tall, pull up into belly with shoulders down, yeah. And then if you need to add a little bit on for a um, abdominal uh, work, just lean back slightly. So we have everything leaning back the same without changing any positional, um, you know, alignment at all. And then from here, we're just going to go ahead and do some biceps curls. And our goal is to not move our torso at all. Keep your shoulders down, you've leaned back, your belly's in, your legs are down, and we're just doing biceps as we can. It's good for us. And 10, okay. And then go ahead and come up if you've leaned back nice and tall, bend your knees, place the soles of your feet together and hold on to your shins for a moment to keep your spine nice and tall. And then maybe you can bend your elbows to bring your heart forward slightly, maybe not. Okay, so we're keeping our spine nice and straight here. Take a couple of breaths. And then we'll go back into our work position, right? And hold on to the bands with one hand. So now you've got both ends of the bands in one hand. The other hand goes around your waist. Elbow right beside you, shoulders down, pull into belly, legs stay down, lean back enough to feel your abs working one side, okay? So we'll just do six here. Three. So you can feel that you're working a diagonal and that's your obliques working to not rotate you. And last one, and then come back up again, bend your knees, soles of the feet together and hold on to your shins just for a second. Take a couple of breaths. And then we'll go back into our work position, switch hands. So now the other hand is holding both ends of the loop hand around your belly, lean back enough to feel your abs working, and six biceps curls just with one hand. Depending on your weight of your TheraBand, this could be a fairly meaningful exercise, <laughs> and you could always do more. That's fine. Okay, so last one, and then we come up in the knees, soles of the feet together. Good. Okay, so now keep your feet wrapped, okay? Bring your knees together, go to one side, lay down on your side and roll onto your back. So then we'll bring our legs in, okay? And just for virtue of, I think the camera is maybe a little better for you to see what's happening on the other side, I'll switch sides. You don't have to switch sides. So now we've got, our feet wrapped, bring the ends of the band on the outsides of your thighs. And if you need to do a little hip lift and organize your spine, do that. If you need to have something under your head to keep your neck from straining, do that. 
And then we'll go ahead and keeping your legs together, push the band and then bend your knees. So your upper arms are on the mat. Good, you're holding onto the band and you're pushing and then bending. And I used to call this one not frogs because it's not frogs. And then one of the people in my class, it was Kim Pierce. Uh, it was, uh, said it was tadpoles because they're not frogs yet. I thought that was awesome. So this is tadpoles. All right. And then we'll go ahead and now externally rotate. So now the band is going to go inside your thighs up by your knees. And then you're pressing your legs out into frog and come back. So we'll just do four here as well. Good. See if you can zip up your inner thighs and really straighten your legs on these. It's so important to get our knees straight. And last one. Perfect. And then just hold, hold your knees in for a second. Take your knees around in a circle. Good. Go the other direction. Good. Now take your knees around in a circle only one time. And when your knees come back in close, stop. And then take your knees around in a circle the other direction. And when your knees come back in, stop. So you see one circle changing direction at the top, right? So we're doing this guiding our knees with our hands. Now we're going to do it with our legs pressing into the band. So straighten your legs to the best of your ability. If that's not possible, you can keep your knees bent and the band is gonna be supporting you in that same pattern. Okay, so circle your legs in one direction and stop and then circle your legs in the other direction and stop. Good, and we'll just keep changing directions. So let's see if we can do about four sets. Your range of motion is yours to explore, okay? Your legs and hips, and low back are all rolling like a cylinder. So if you go larger, you'll find that you've got one part of your bum kind of leaving the mat, and that's fine. Or maybe lightening the weight on the mat. And we'll just keep moving with our breath. You can feel your oblique abdominals working. So much fun. And last one. Even out your sides and then come on in for landing. You can kind of kick the band off your feet and then we'll set it aside. Great job. So let's just take a moment here, keep your right leg bent, slide your left leg out carefully, pulling into belly, dorsiflex your foot, and kind of press your leg into the mat. So tighten up your glute muscle, you just sort of lengthen the front of the hip here. And then we'll slide our leg in, slide the other leg out, make it as if you were standing, Tighten up your buttock, feel the front of the hip just returning to its normal length. Okay, and we'll bring that leg in, take your band, roll to one side, press up, and it's time for some standing work now. We've got our band in our hands and I'm just gonna hold it in front of me and make a smiley face with the band. So my arms are a little wider than, um, than shoulder width, smiley face band, standing at the front of your mat. So first thing we'll do is just spread your toes and rock back and forth and rock side to side and see if you can find your center of gravity on your mat, okay? Just come to what you feel is center and then bring the band in front of you. Now take a breath and make sure there's nothing behind you to trip you up, right? Step back with your right foot, land on your toes, spread the band apart and bring it across your waist so your arms come behind you. And then pull into belly and come forward and bring the band forward again. Other leg, so we're switching sides. Left leg steps back, you land on your toes, you bring the band back across your waist and then bring it forward. So from side view, we're pressing back, opening the shoulders, it's a chest expansion with a back lunge, okay? So we're moving very deliberately here. We want to give ourselves a moment with the band across our waist or hips or wherever it's landing, right? To feel the muscles in our, in our back, our postural muscles, and make sure that we're really pulling into our abdominal muscles so that we're not going somewhere you know, else, right? You really want to emphasize this idea 
of opening the chest, building strength in our postural muscles. Good, let's do one more on each side. Perfect, and then we'll come forward onto the mat and just do some shoulder rolls. Couple of breaths, check in. And then we'll go ahead now and step back and just step back one time and stay there. So we'll spread the band apart again, bring it against our pelvis or our, or our waist. And then from here, if you step back with your right leg, rotate to the left and feel that your band and your arms kind of are all staying in relationship to each other. Okay, so we're gonna rotate to the right now. Inhale, rotate, and exhale, center. Let's do one more on each side. Inhale, rotate, exhale, center. Inhale, rotate, exhale, center. Good, and then step forward and pause for a moment. Do some shoulder rolls. A lot of arm work in this class, huh? So let's go ahead and step back with the left foot, spread the band apart, good. And then inhale, rotate to the right, exhale, center. Inhale, rotate to the left, exhale, center. And a couple more on each side. Let's see if you can change your gaze too. You look over your shoulder. Every time you change your gaze, when you're balancing, your brain has to recalibrate. Right, so it's actually a little easier, you know, if you're challenged with your balance, keep your gaze in one place, a little harder. Let's come on and step forward, roll your shoulders. A little harder to change your gaze, okay? So you pick the one that's safe and meaningful for you. All right, so we'll go ahead and just set the band aside for a moment. And if your balance is challenged, find something that is um, safe for you to support on, like say a wall or something, you know, a counter. And then we'll organize our bodies so that we're nice and tall, and then shift your weight over to one leg. Tighten up that standing leg glute. Make sure that your hips don't drop and lift the other leg. And let's hold, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Put the leg down. Maybe just Kind of sway from side to side, we loosen things up a bit, and then we'll go to the other side. Shift over, tighten everything up in the standing leg, lift your leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful job. Okay, so we'll shift from side to side, and then let's go ahead and just step back with your right leg, land on your toes, zip up your front line. And then bring your arms up. Now be careful of shoulders. If you have tight shoulders, you can be wide or in front of you slightly, okay? And let's forget about that thing about keeping your shoulders down all the time. So let's go ahead and reach up enough that you feel like your rib cage is moving away from your hips. So we want length in the side waist. And then if you're okay doing this, you can grab a hold of one wrist and just really gently lengthen that side of your body and then grab a hold of the other wrist. And again, really gently lengthen that side of your body. Good. And then reach up toward the ceiling, pulling into belly. And now see if you can keep the distance between your ribs and your hips the same as you bring your arms and your shoulder blades down. Okay. Then we'll look down, kind of pull into our belly to release the stretch. Step forward and go to the other side. Left leg back on the toes, heel lifted. Good. Bring your arms up to a place that your shoulders are happy with. We reach, 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 and then grab your wrist if you're okay with it. And side bend, come to center. Other wrist if you're okay with that, side bend, come to center, reach, 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 and then keep your ribs away from your hips as much as possible. Bring your arms down. Beautiful job. Lean forward slightly, good. And then let's just go ahead and just do some circles around the hips for a moment, just loosen things up. Great. Wonderful. I think that's enough standing work. Let's go back to the mat. If you 
have a you know very fragile uh, femoral neck or hip, right? Then um, what we'll do is go to your side, lay on your back, and then you're going to do a figure four stretch, okay? So you're not laying on the uh, hip itself. If that is not your case, we can come up into our uh, mermaid sit, right, our Z sit, and then your supporting arm is on the mat, and we'll bring our other arm up for length. Take a breath, and then exhale over into a side bend. Take another breath. Exhale, press the floor away. Use your abs so you can come up to balance. Hold on to the other shin. Bring the other arm up. Take a breath. Exhale, I'll come back through balance, gracefully float down, okay? And then inhale, open your heart. Exhale, pull your belly in. So keeping your spine nice and long, right? If this doesn't feel right to you, you can stay in the side bend or go into the figure four stretch on your back, okay? So just breathe here. Enjoy our mermaid stretch. If you need to be careful about your bones, if you have osteo somebody, right? It's best to keep the spine nice and long here and let's not force an end range. If that is not what's going on with you, then you can come all the way down to the mat if that is your pleasure, okay? So just take a few more breaths. And then next inhale, get ready. Exhale, pull your belly in, derotate and come up. Good. And then let's go ahead and switch our legs around. So if you're on your back doing a figure four, go ahead and change sides. Support arm, shoulder is down. The other arm comes up toward the ceiling for length. Take a breath. Exhale, come on over. Breathing, beautiful side stretch. Breathe in, exhale, press the floor away, use your abs, come up to balance, and then hold on to your other shin, and side bend. Good, and we're breathing. And then come back through balance, gracefully float down, come back into your side stretch. Okay, and you can stay here or continue on, inhaling, heart towards ceiling, exhaling, belly pulls in, and we find an appropriate Twist and stretch and breathe into it. Take a couple more breaths here. Just try to soften everything. Soften your eyes, your jaw, separate your teeth. Make your breathing nice and long. Exhaling completely. And then next inhale, prepare. And we'll exhale, unwind, and come up. Good. We'll swing our legs around. All right. And I hope that you enjoyed class and I look forward to seeing you again soon. So keep your abs in and your shoulders back in town till I see you again.